All right, against odds time, we are playing a <laughs> clue combo Zada Silver Fur Partisan <laughs> something. This should be very interesting. Let's Evolving Wilds go. I can't believe I'm doing this, but the idea is we'll make a ton of clues. Oh, this is a brain in the jar deck. This idea is just so absurd, I'm sorry. I keep laughing, because this one's even absurd by my standards. And I have pretty high standards for absurdity. All right, we'll get a forest. Oh, another second harvest. All right, Duskwatch Recruiter, go. We can use Duskwatch to find our Zada. But pretty much, we, with Zada and Sir Silver Fur and these cards at target, we can make a bunch of clue tokens and then double them with second harvest and kill our opponent with the ether grid. Our opponent has engulfed the shore, which is kind of annoying. I think the plan is to attack with Duskwatch, play Cinderglade, and just pump up Duskwatch, see if we can hit a nothing. Well, at least we got those cards out of the way. <laughs> Look at the bright side. Duskwatch flips, makes our creatures cheaper now. Anticipate. Pump's probably digging for land, I assume? Uh, alright, gonna tap down our creature, draw a card, sure. Duskwatch flips. Alright, let's just activate Duskwatch. Get a Silver Fur, play a Lumbering Falls, pass the turn. Duskwatch flips, again. Nagging Thoughts, there's a Brain in the Jar. Luckily it's going to take him a minute to get it big enough. Alright, <laughs> flips back. Let's just... Our opponent can bounce all our stuff. Actually, let's just uh, pump up Duskwatch, see if we can find... Alright, another Silver Fur. Lumbering Falls, pass the turn. Get in for two. Uh, and I guess we'll just discard a Lamholt Pacifist. So Duskwatch flips. Anticipate. Uh, gonna disperse. Alright, let's let's confront the unknown to get a clue. I think we need to start getting tokens. Silver Fur Partisan. Gets a counter on the brain. Duskwatch Recruiter. Pass the turn. Man, we need a Zada. Zada is what we need. Zada would give us so many clues. Brain. Ticks up. Are they just gonna bounce all our stuff? Yep, there's Engulf the Shore. Bounces our stuff. Zada? Silver Fur. Alright, so we Silver Fur. We Duskwatch Recruiter. Pass the turn. Opponents going to pass by the looks. We flip Duskwatch. Evolving Wilds. Well, let's Silver Fur Partisan. Ether Grid. Pumps up Brain in the Jar. Ooh, they have pieces of the puzzle. Alright, we really gotta start getting some tokens at some point. Second engulf the shore. Well, evolving wilds. Pass. Discard a silver fur. Opponent's gonna pass. Crack evolving wilds. Get a mountain. Silver fur. Evolving wilds. Another silver fur. Pass the turn. Gets a counter on majoring. All right. Whoa! He didn't even take up brain. Very few situations where you don't want to take up brain. Opponent is going to pass. Oh, come on, Zada. Zada would be so sweet. Alright, Evolving Wilds, get a Mountain, Forest, okay, so let's attack with both Silver Furs, play Duskwatch Recruiter, and just pass the turn for now. Has this engulfed the shore? Oh my god, again. Do we want to double things up? We can Jace's Scrutiny... And they're almost out of engulf the shores, but they're probably pretty close to just winning. All right, let's let's Jace's scrutiny. We get a couple wolves. We investigate. Everything gets bounced again, third time, and then pass the turn. Our opponent sh shouldn't be able to combo off this turn. They probably need at least one more turn. They can take a cataract to draw cards if they want. Are they gonna go for it here? Oh, they're just gonna rise from the tides. All right. Well, they make a ton of zombies. Second harvest. Double up our clues. Ping, ping down a zombie. Wandering Fumeral. So let's Silver Fur Partisan. Silver Fur Partisan. Pass the turn. I don't know if we're going to be able to survive this or not. Brain in a jar ticks up. Is it combo time? Our opponent goes to attacks. All right, we need to... Oh, that's a... S that's a sorcery, eh? Good to know. I thought press for answers was an instant. Well, technically we live, but if they can take an extra turn, we die. Oh, uh, we never found a Zada to really go off. The odds that they don't have a take an extra turn spell are pretty slim. Alright, the good news is, it should be hard after sideboarding for this deck to do much against us. Like, negates 
and Void Chatter. Possibly Naturalize. What are we going down? We really need these cards because they investigate. All right, we'll make we'll make a few cuts, bring in some counters. Well, we have a counter, which is pretty helpful. Fumeral will go. Yeah, we'll just play Cinderglade. We're not doing anything this turn anyway. Uh, Shiv and Reef, so we have a counter available for Brain in the Jar or something. All right, we're not going to counter pieces of the puzzle. They get a rrr, Anticipate and probably Nagging Thoughts. They take the Rise from the Tides. All right. Opponent has to discard. Pitches and Nagging Thoughts. Let's Evolving Wilds pass the turn. Not really any sense to Ether Grid here. A majoring Network. All right, Crack this, get an Island. Still no creatures. Mountain, go. Drawing zero creatures is kind of annoying. Well, there's a Zada. One, two, three. Uh, let's just Ether Grid. If we draw a land next turn, we can Zada plus leave up Counter Magic, which would be nice. Gets a counter on Majoring. Anticipates. Come on, Silverfur. So many Bladed Cataracts. Opponent passes. Uh, Fumeral. All right, Fumeral pass. We're going to leave up Counter Magic again. Next turn, we can finally Zada. Gets a counter. Nagging thoughts. Well, we are about a silver fur away from going super nuts. Uh, brain in a jar. Sure, I think it's going to be too slow to matter here. We would have rather <laughs> the second Zada be a silver fur, but okay. Come on, silver fur. Adds a counter. Our opponent only having two blue mana is actually kind of helpful. Uh, pour over pages. All right, we'll let that go. Can't really stop this deck from drawing cards. That's just not practical. Another island. Come on, creature. Come on, Zada. <laughs> or not Zada. Silverfur. One time. Come on. Come on. Negate. All right, let's just attack with Zada. Pass the turn. We have double counter magic, which is helpful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we better just wait. We might be able to, at the end of our opponent's turn, activate Fumeral and get a couple of clue tokens that way. Pieces of the puzzle. Uh, engulf the shore and part the water veil. Uh, grip of the royal. Yep, that's fine. All right, so plan is activate wandering fumeral. Jace's scrutiny. The Zada copies it. If our opponent wants to empty their counters off Majoring to bounce our stuff, that is perfectly, perfectly fine. All right, we get a couple clues. And then we get to ping our opponent for one, tapping the clues. We're getting there slowly. Come on, silver fur. We still want to serve silver for forest. Um, yeah, I guess we just pass the turn for now. Opponent adds a counter, or er, takes up brain in the jar. Part the water veil. Okay. All this really does is gives our opponent an extra brain in the jar counter, which I think is fine. Part the water veil. Sure. These are not threatening part the water veils, really. We still have our counters in hand. So if they want to just use their part the water veils, that is fine. Adds a counter. So they only have two part the water veils left. Rise from the tides. Well, I guess we negate that. Opponent void shatters. Okay. And then we void shatter rise from the tides. We're out of counters. All right, let's ping our opponent for one. All right, what happens if we try to attack next turn? We attack one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. We completely uh, confront the unknown. Seven and six is 13. Actually, we might be able to win next turn if our opponent... Uh, we need to somehow get them to activate Brain in the Jar, though. All right, let's see what we draw. Lumbering Falls. All right, let's go attacking. See if this gets our opponent to activate the Brain in the Jar to bounce our creatures. Uh, let's play Lumbering Falls. Attack with both creatures. All right, they go with Brain in the Jar. All right, so now we... All right, let's see. We switch Wandering Fumeral's power and toughness. If our opponent has a counter here, it still beats us. Target Zada with Confront the Unknown. Oh, our opponent... Oh, man! Oh, we needed to resolve the one... And we need to resolve that in the opposite order. But our opponent was scooped it up for us. Well, that was not exactly how we drew it up, but it worked. I guess we probably want dispels as well. Let's just get rid of Lamholt Pacifist all, all together. But I think we got to try it like this. Uh, I think we got a mulligan that. We got nothing. All right, this we can keep. We got a silver for... Put that to the bottom. Got a Duskwatch, got a silver for... Got a Jace's Scrutiny. 
Lumbering Falls, go. Now we need a Zada is our big our big payoff. Opponent's gonna pass. We will Wandering Fumeral, go. Opponent starts getting storage counters. No brain yet. Ooh, passing? All right. Oh, and there's Zada. We might be doing it. Duskwatch gets a counter. Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> oh. All right, there's Brain. Evolving Wilds, crack it. What do we need? Red, blue, blue, green, red. I guess we need more green? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. There's a mountain. Let's attack with Duskwatch. Play Zada. Oh, man. Oh, we're so close to doing it. <laughs> we got silver for next turn. Come on. No land counter spell action. Empties their counters. Grip from the Royal. That's fine. That's super fine. Tap down. We don't care. Oh, we're going to see the Oh, in the second harvest. <laughs> oh, we got it. The full combo. Well, why are opponents tapped out? We're going to confront the unknown, trigger Zada, targets both of our where our wolves, triggers silver for a partisan, we get three clue tokens, get in with Oh and our opponent scooped it up! Oh we are gonna go so big there. <laughs> oh we are gonna go so big. We we would have the next turn we could have cast a Jace's scrutiny. Which would have gotten us, oh my lord, one, two, three, four, five more clues. And if we drew a land, Ether Grid as well. And then the next turn, second harvest, would have made us like 18 clues in, good god, I don't even know, uh, 10 wolves or something. Oh, that's, we got the nut draw. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, uh, all right, cluing off. All right, against uh, Zada, Silver Fur, we'll keep this. Duress to take our Jace's Scrutiny. Well, Evolving Wilds, go. Cracks Evolving Wilds. Gets an island. Well, crack this, get a forest. Mountain and Duskwatch Recruiter. Pass the turn. Read the bones. Well, Cinderglade, get in with Duskwatch Recruiter. And pass, eh, pass the turn. Let's uh, activate Duskwatch. Whiff. All right. Well, we weren't really hoping to whiff there, but Pulse of Murasa gets back Evolving Wilds. Cracks it for Forest. Jesus Scrutiny, eh? Well, Lambhole Pacifist. Get in with our Werewolf. Um, yeah, let's play Mountain and the Ether Grid. Pass the turn. Flip our Howler back to Duskwatch. Does our opponent have a Languish? Survey says yes, they do. Well, we get a Silver Fur and a Lumbering Falls. Pass the turn. Obnixilis kills our Silver Fur. Tap land. Well, we get a Lambholt Pacifist, a Lumbering Falls. Pass the turn. Takes up Obnixilis. Swamp. And this is Renewal. Fair enough. Up to 25. And we are going to Jace's Scrutiny, our Lamholt Pacifist, to fizzle the dress. Um, yeah, we need to Lumbering Falls, kill Obnixilis, flip our Lamholt, Seasons Past, get back a bunch of jank. Opponent has a million cards in hand. They have not demonstrated the ability to beat an Aether Grid main deck. Grasp, sure. Swamp, and read the bones. Has to discard. Press for answers. Well, I think what we're going to do here, as crazy as it sounds, is activate Lumbering Falls. Jace's Scrutiny the Lumbering Falls to get another clue token and just pass the turn. Now we can start pinging at least. Obnixilis. Draws a card. Loses a life. Duress can take Press for answers. Kalidus. Traitor of Get. Uh, ping our opponent. We draw and Evolving Wilds, not great. Draws a card, loses a life. Another Nissus Renewal. This seems like it might be a hard matchup. They have a lot of removal. Painful Truce. I don't know why you'd play Read the Bones and Painful Truce. That seems like you don't know what you're doing. Uh, it seems like one has to be better than the other. Now let's ping Obnixilis. Opponent discards. Fire up our Lumbering Falls. Hit Obnixilis. And pass the turn. 
Draws a card, loses a life, plays another land, goes to attacks, gets in 4-3. Dark Petition, passes. Let's ping Obnixilis. Play a Forest, Lumbering Falls. Tech Obnixilis. They're going to activate a Hissing Quagmire. They get a zombie. Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this one. <laughs> Sack the zombie, pump up Kalidus. Obnixilis draws a card. Alright, that does it. Seems like a rough matchup, especially before boarding, but in general. Void Shatter negates. Going down. Press Francers. Run it like that. And we also flooded out pretty significantly. Uh, Alright, I guess that's something. Our opponent also has a lot of discard, which is annoying. Evolving Wilds, go. Tap land. Alright, crack Evolving Wilds, get a forest. Play a Shivan Reef. Play a Lamhole Pacifist. Pass the turn. Swamp and Grasp. Well, land and Silver Fur Partisan. Pass the turn. Tap land. Ooh, maybe we're getting there. Land, Silver Fur Partisan. Attack with Silver Fur. I guess a lot of it is going to depend on if our opponent has untapped land into Languish. We could also just draw Zada and win. That would be sweet. Uh, Alright, no untapped land. Painful Truce. Puts our opponent down to 15. Cracks a land. Alright, let's just make some wolves. Get a clue. Wandering Fumeral. Alright, swing with everything. Play Wandering Fumeral. Play a Ether Grid. Pass the turn. So our opponent really needs Languish here to stay alive. If they don't have Languish, it's just game over. They do have the Languish. Well, the good news is we have Wandering Fumeral, flip the power and toughness, put our opponent down to three, Evolving Wilds, Duress can take Second Harvest or Jace's Scrutiny, cracks the land, gets a Swamp. Well, let's play Duskwatch, pass the turn. If they ever go to kill it, we Jace's Scrutiny to get another clue. Opponent passes. All right, we flip Duskwatch. Attack with the Squatch. All right, we're going to get in there. A potentially lethal attack. Slumgar's Command. Well, let's Jace's Scrutiny. Ping our opponent for one. And then sack the clue token they're targeting. Wandering Fumeral, pass the turn. Opponent's down to two. Opponent's going to pass. Lamholt Pacifist. And pass the turn. Grasp of Darkness. Oh, we are like a clue token away, but we got to get it before our opponent draws something crazy. Valving Wilds, go. Obnixilis, well, it doesn't do much. Draws our opponent a card. Tap land. Crack this. Get an island. Oh, come on, something. That does it. <laughs> Second Harvest. Unless they have a negate, I guess. And <laughs> we got there. Oh my goodness. Oh, this seems like a bad matchup. <laughs> the old second harvest, a single clue token. Oh, alright. Game three against Seasons Past. If it doesn't get discarded into Oblivion. Lumbering Falls, go. Silver for Partisan is also pretty solid. Just because it, it uh, takes two removal spells. Discounting Languish. And this can steal the game if we get a Zada. And don't get disrupted. Uh, alright. Valving Wilds cracks it. Alright, Pwn's gonna pass. We are going to... Let's Evolving Wilds. I don't think we need to negate this turn. Swamp and... Nissa. alright. Nissa's annoying. Gets a land. We crack Evolving Wilds. Get, I guess, a mountain. Now we'll play a Forest and a Silver Fur. Pass the turn. Sunken Hollow and Kalidus. Ay. Gets in with Nissa. Alright, we'll let that go. Well, let's Wandering Fumeral and Silver Fur Partisan. Pass the turn. Sunken Hollow. Opponent goes to attacks. Gets in with both. We're going to take it. Down to 13. Opponent's up to 23. That is a Zada. Good God. I really want one more land. All right, let's just... You know, we could get blown out here. They kill our thing. Block with a token. Yeah, let's just pass. Pass the turn. Ultimate price, a silver fur. Alright, gets us a couple tokens. Yep. Our opponent gets a token. Nissa's Renewal. 
No attacks. Another Zada. Well, I mean, uh, if we play and untap with Zada, we just win? Zada, go. I mean, if we untap with Zada and get to Chandra's Indignation, I don't know what'll happen, but something crazy will happen. Nissa's gonna flip. Nissa flips. Oh, gets a Languish. Well, at least Languish kills our opponent's stuff, too. They do Languish. They get Zombies. Well, we get another Zada. Pass the turn. Pulse of Murasa can get back and replay Kalidus, potentially, which is pretty bad. Oh, Ruinous Path with Awaken. Things are looking grim. Duskwatch Recruiter, pass the turn. Oh, Omnixless. Oh, our opponent's running pretty well. All right. Oh, we are so close. All right, against the odds. Playing some Zada Silver for Clue Token Wombo Combo. This hand is clunky, but we have a ton of our finishers. So if we ever draw other things... Uh, alright. Forest, go. So, I mean, in theory, we can just start making Clue Tokens and doubling Clue Tokens, draw a bunch of cards. Eventually, that should win us the game. Also, we could draw into an Ether Grid. Opponent goes with Read the Bones. Top and... Top. Ooh. Come on, something good. Like a forest. Um, island go. Foreboding ruins. We need our opponent to play something so we can start making clue tokens so we can start doubling our clue tokens. Oh god. Oh god. Indulgent aristocrat. Uh, uh, taking creature to have first strike when a vampire deals damage. Put a plus one plus one counter on it. Sure, fine, whatever. Yeah, let's just plea for answers, this indulgent aristocrat, play the forest, pass the turn. So I don't know if we want to sack this clue or try to start doubling up our clues first. Guess we gotta see what our opponent does. Swamp, untapped, blood bond, <laughs> blood bond vampire. <laughs> sure. If you insist, opponent. Oh, there we go. We drew a creature. Uh, so press for answers, mountain, lambholt pacifist, pass the tune. But it goes to attacks. We've run into a ton of odd matchups. Good lord. Cracks Evolving Wilds. Passes. We flip our Lamholt. That, boys and girls, is called a Silver Fur Partisan. Oh, uh, let's play Silver Fur. Um, yeah, I guess we might as well attack. Uh-oh. Dance with Devils. Double blocks. So, so they're going to try to kill something. Question is what? If they try to kill our Silver Fur, they're just going to go after that. Well, I guess we save it. Get a wolf. Pump it up. Save it from the devil damage. And now next turn, we're on the start doubling things plan. Lamholt flips back around. Opponent goes to attacks. Gets in with their first striking blood... Blood something. Bond vampire. Gets a counter. Drana. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hmm... Alright, I think the plan is to just... Hmm. Yeah, I think we just pass the turn for now. Pass the turn, flip our pacifist. We can live a couple more turns, and we can start second harvesting to double our tokens. So we'll get another wolf and three more clues. Alright, so let's just... Second harvest. Unholy hunger, our butcher. Okay, that's fine. That actually gets us more tokens. I don't know if that was our opponent's plan but thank you <laughs> we'll take it so we're up to six clues four wolves uh then i think we just chump unfortunately we kind of want to land if we get a land we can confront the unknown chandra's indignation oh lord oh my god good lord well uh i think that does it so that's called a zada hedron grinder then we at <laughs> attack with all our wolves yup and then Confront the Unknown is going to be plus a million, plus a million. Copies. Copies makes a bunch more wolf tokens. We even, <laughs> we even have another second harvest in hand. Oh, this deck is so funny when it goes off. So, Partisan, Partisan. Make some wolves. Everything gets plus a billion, plus a billion. Uh, 8 power, 10 power, 11 power, 12 power. And, uh, negative 22. We hand, we hand all the damage to our opponent all game. Draw a Zada, and good game well played.
Well, that was sweet. Uh, vampires, eh? Do we want, like, fiery impulse? Maybe? I guess we can bring in fiery impulse over press francers a couple and just try it like that. Oh, well, we got Zadas. Okay. I mean, Zada is what we want. We just gotta actually get to it. Well, our opponent is mulliganing down to four. Probably not a good sign <laughs> for our opponent. They're doing their own against odds. Still gonna do that someday. Against odds, mold of four. Uh, it seems like it could be funny. Uh, foreboding ruins, tapped. I guess our opponent's winning just because they actually have land on their mold of four. I probably would have scooped if I was them. They are braver than I am. <laughs> Once they get down to four, I'm just like, eh. Alright, next game. Two lands. Well, I think we're almost to the point where our opponents can be considered lucky. What are the odds you mold a four and have two lands? Island, goo. Well, basically, we want to draw another land, start making some tokens, copy the tokens, play Zada, all that fun stuff. Will Jace's Scrutiny just about anything they play here? Definitely Drana. And it's a land. Alright, Jace's Scrutiny on Drana. Clue number one. Evolving Wilds past the turn. Unfortunately, we don't have the Silver Fur to go with our Zada. Hmm? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Scrutiny is that one. Oops. On second thought, maybe we're losing. I thought that was the tap the creature down one. This is the negative four, negative O. I definitely should have played that uh, during combat. Blood Mad Vampire. All right. Evolving Wilds, crack it, get a mountain. Land and Zada. Pass the turn. When it goes to attacks, we probably got a block Blood Mad Vampire, unfortunately. So, especially since we have another Zada. That would just get too out of hand too quickly. Trades off. Blood Bond Vampire. Come on, land. Oh my goodness. We're Zada flooding. Zada, pass. So we're taking eight here. That's a lot of damage. Read the bones. Spawning bed. Yep. Take our beats. Down to seven. Wandering Fumeral, tapped. Pass the turn. We're going to have to block and start using Confront the Unknown, I guess. And even then, we're basically just dead to Drana. I don't know how we survive this. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we're dead. Wow! Well, that was bad news. Uh, bring in the last Fiery Impulse. Run it back. Alright, we get to play first. And we get to Mulligan. Uh, okay. We don't have red mana. We don't have anything that does anything, but we have two silver furs. Alright, let's keep second harvest to the bottom. Lumbering Falls go. Foreboding Ruins. Tapped. Uh, Cinder Glade go. Well, some ways to make clue tokens would be nice. Swamp. Passes. Alright, Jace's Scrutiny's not bad. That does give us a way to make clue tokens. Silver fur, go. Maybe we should have kept that second harvest. Now we kind of want a Zada. Olivia. Who has a lot of flyers? Lumbering Falls, go. Probably just Jace's Scrutiny Olivia, I guess. Rogue's Passage. Bloodbond Vampire. Are they going to discard a card? They discard a mountain. Give it haste, blah, blah, blah. Go to attack. We just Jace's Scrutiny. The Bloodbond. Get a clue. Take three. Ugh, Fiery Impulse. We don't have enough cards in our graveyard yet. Well, land. I guess we just land Silver Fur. Pass the turn. Tormenting Voice for our opponent. Foreboding Ruins. Goes to attacks. We take three. I guess we gotta sack the clue, unfortunately. Cinder Glade, not really what we wanted. Confront the Unknown is more along the lines of what we wanted. So let's place Cinder Glade, um, confront the unknown, our Silver Fur, get a couple wolf tokens, get a clue token, most importantly get another instant or sorcery for spell mastery, kill the Olivia, and then, hmm, do we just sack the clue here? Yeah, let's just pass. Oh my god. Well, come on, top of our deck. Oh my god. Well, now we probably lose. Uh, I don't know why our opponent was playing that card, but we did get blown out by it. Cinderglade, go. Now I guess we gotta block and kill this Bloodbond Vampire with Lumbering Falls. Feels horrible. Oh, This deck does cool stuff, but doesn't win. 
<laughs> All right, we're uh, gonna re lose to the Berserker's onslaught deck. All right, yep. Well, that was uh, horrible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, our opponent started out the chat with a uh, <laughs> with some sort of curse word that was edited out by Magic Online, and then am I playing against Saffron Olive? Uh, Alright, let's see if Zada can do its thing. Second Harvest, Silver Fur, good enough for me. Uh, Alright, Lumbering Falls, go. Evolving Wilds, cracks it. Gets an island. Island, eh? Uh, let's go with Cinderglade Pass. Evolving Wilds cracks it. Gets an island. What is happening? Uh, yeah, we'll just go land into Mr. Silver Fur. <laughs> Silver Fur. Mr. Silver Fur. That's what I was trying to say. Thraben Gargoyle. Uh, okay. Ooh, man, if we get a Zada, we can combo off so hard. Uh, Duskwatch Recruiter, Shivan Reef, go. Not gonna attack into this thing. I have no idea what we're up against. Something with Thraben Gargoyle, which I've never seen in Standard before. Another island. Opponent passes. I think we activate Duskwatch in response to try to find a Zada. That's a Zada. Oh, man. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Next turn. Things are going to get real. And the press for answers. All right, let's just pass the turn. Oh, if we can resolve this Zada. Oh, if we can resolve Zada. Things are going to be so sweet. Not going to attack into that. Ugh, engulf. All right. That does slow us down just a smidge. And AJ's. Is this just like mono blue control? What's happening? What's happening to us? Well, let's go Silver Fur Dusk Watch Recruiter. Pass the turn. And if we can just get one turn of Zada on this battlefield, plus confront the unknown, we're going to be able to make a lot of clue tokens. And by a lot, I mean a lot. Start of the wake? Sure. You mill us. That's fine. Doesn't keep us from comboing off. Scries one, draws a card. Ugh, our opponent's not going to tap out. Well, we get a land. We get to do some attacking at Jace. Opponent takes the beats. Down to three on Jace. Now we will Zada. And just pass. Scries, draws. Oh, things things are about to get real. We'd like our opponent to tap out, or at least not have engulf the shore, but Alright, let's just uh let's just pass. Duskwatch flips. Let's start by casting another silver fur. Then let's send everything at Jace. See if we can kill the Jace. They go with Engulf the Shore. Alright, so we need to Jace's scrutiny the Zada. Copy it for all our werewolves. Oh, we're going to make a bunch of tokens. Unfortunately, they're... <laughs> Unfortunately, they're going to uh, all get bounced back to our hand. Actually, no, they're not, if they don't have a counter. <laughs> oh, this combo. So we make all these wolves. Oh, this is going to be so sweet if they don't have a counter. Even if they do, I think it might be all right. So creatures get negative four, negative... Oh, investigate, investigate, investigate investigate then we confront the unknown targeting zada copy it for all of our <laughs> yes <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh all right oh my god oh and then we have the the second harvest in hand this board is going to be absurd <laughs> we have a million can we auto stack this somehow there we go. All right. We... <laughs> oh, this board is so awesome. The combo is working. Uh, just auto-yield all this stuff. Make a million more wolves. Make a million more clues. <laughs> oh, look at this. And then we're going to kill the Jace. Unfortunately, if we were taking our opponent, I think we would have just won. So we get some more clues. We have ten... 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 wolf tokens. Some are going to get bounced. Are they all going to get bounced? No. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my God. All right, Engulf the Shore bounces some stuff. Uh, we kill the Jace. We could have killed our opponent if we were attacking our opponent, but we have 10, 14 clues. 
The Howler flips. So next turn we can potentially press for answer Zada, make a million more clues, and then double everything. Do they have another engulf the shore? Uh, another engulf the shore. All right. If we just draw our, uh... <laughs> if we can just draw our ether grid, we can ping our opponent into oblivion. Another startled awake. One ether grid. Two. We have one ether grid left in our deck, and we're down to 19 cards. Let's see. One, two, three. Silver fur. One, two, three. Silver fur. Evolving wilds. Pass the turn. Man, if we'd only attacked our opponent that turn, we would have won. Jace. Scries draws. Vessel. All right. More milling. All right. Let's crack evolving wilds. Get a mountain, I guess. Another mountain. Now well, let's play the mountain. Play Zada. Play Duskwatch Recruiter. And. Press for answers targeting Zada. Copies it. All right, we get a bunch of wolves. Get some more clues. We have, what, 18 clues now? Oh, we are really close to just 20-ing our opponent. If we draw the Ether Grid, second harvest, one, two, three, four, Ether Grid, that would be lethal counting the wolves. We could do uh, 18 from the Ether Grid. All right, Zada and Silver for milled, not a Ether Grid. So we're staying alive. If they find another Startled Awake, that would be very bad. Scries draws. Uh, Manic Scribe, I'm going to mill three. Come on, not Ether Grid. All right, not Ether Grid. Uh, crush. Oh, my God. Well, that was annoying. Replays the Scribe. There goes all of our hard work. Crush, really? And that does it. Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess we want counter spells against this deck. And that's about it. Probably go down Chandra's Indignation, a couple Press for Answers, and a Lamhole Pacifist, and try it like that. Alright, we get to play first. Alright, I guess we keep it. We got some stuff that we want. Namely, Zada and Confront the Unknown. And a second Harvest. I don't know why our opponent's bothering to play Evolving Wilds in a mono blue deck. Seems very odd. Oy, that is many Confront the Unknowns. Now we're almost hoping our opponent plays a creature so we can investigate. Vessel. Come on, land. Alright, can't do anything. Got a pass. Pieces of the puzzle. Gets a Talent of the Telepath. Is another mill card. Land, please. Well, at least Dusquatch Recruiter is something we can play and potentially start targeting with Confront the Unknowns. Crush is pretty bad for us. Talent of the Telepath, Mills, an Aether Grid, a Silver Fur, a Pacifist, four lands that we really wanted. Ugh. All right, let's cast that, unfortunately. Cast that, unfortunately. At least we have a couple, <laughs> a couple of clues that we can try to sack to find lands. Opponent's probably gonna play a Jace or something. Sex Vessel, Valving Wild Scrutiny, Lamholt Pacifist. I guess you might as well leave this up. Start of the Wake, Mills, a bunch more. Ether, another Ether Grid. Land, please. All right, well, let's attack with the Squatch. And I guess we just pass the turn. Flip our Dusk Watch. See about cracking a clue or countering something if we have to. E Valving Wilds. We still have a lot of lands left in our deck. Just casting a Startled Awake. Mmm, okay. And a Gargoyle. Cracks the land. So we're down to 12 cards in our library, which isn't great. Let's crack a clue. Do we ever find a land? We do. It's tapped, which is a bummer. Lumbering Falls. And I guess we just pass the turn. We have to discard. We will discard a Press for Answers. Duskwatch flips. Well, do they have counter to back it up? They apparently do not. Send to sleep, all right. Not the end of the world. Flips. Oh, hopefully you have a basic left. All right, we should have a basic. So let's Evolving Wilds, crack Evolving Wilds. Well, I guess we just get a red source and pass the turn. I don't know if we can get back in the game from here or not. Duskwatch flips. All right, returns Startled Awake. Uh, okay. So we get to play Cinderglade, play Zada, press for answers, 
the persistent nightmare. Get to attack. I mean, we're very shields down. There's a lot of things that just kill us here. Opponent's down to 10. Past the turn, we couldn't leave up our counter. I mean, I guess we could have, but I think we have to play Zada. I think that's our only real way of winning. All right, engulf the shore, bounces everything. Tutelage, okay. So let's go Lumbering Falls, Duskwatch Recruiter. Past the turn, is there any way of us winning? They're gonna mill two from Sphinx's Tutelage. Down to four cards in our library. Tries to cast Startled Awake. We counter it, hopefully, unless they have a counter. Uh, we're kind of staying alive. Thraben Gargoyle. We draw a Silver Fur. Well, I guess what we gotta do is play Zada. Opponent's gonna send to sleep. And that likely means we're dead. Well, let's confront the unknown. Doubles up. Yeah, I don't think we can make enough. We can get eight? Yeah, that does it. Oh, disappointing. Well, we had a pretty sweet turn, but couldn't actually win the match. Odd, odd matchup. All right, against the odds time, Zada, Silver for clues and stuff. Well, we have a lot of our combo cards. Missing some lands and red mana for Zada, but hopefully we get there. Wandering Fumeral. Not a land. All right. Past the turn, red mana would be spectacular. Hard wall illuminator. Yeah, let's do this to investigate in case we need to crack to find a land. Hopefully we find a land here. All right, there's red mana. Past the turn. So apparently our opponent is planning on investigating as well. We have ran into a lot of really weird decks. Ongoing investigation. Whenever one more creature you control deals combat damage to a player investigate. All right. Opponent gets to investigate twice, thanks to this Illuminator. Fun. We get a land, so let's just Silver for Partisan, Lumbering Falls, pass the turn. Exile a creature from your graveyard, investigate. All right, hmm. Interesting. Tireless Tracker, even more investigating. Well, our opponent is going to have a lot of clue tokens, and that much is very clear. All right, we take one, our opponent investigates. We get to play a Zada, play a Lumbering Falls, pass the turn. Thopter Spy Network, all right. Well, our opponent's gonna draw a ton of cards, but I think we can go over the top of them if things go right. All right, they get in for one, investigate again. They're up to eight clue tokens. Cinderglade, well, let's play Aethergrid, play Cinderglade, and then just pass the turn. Opponent's getting 1-1s. One Pia and Karen Nalar. More 1-1s. One Alright, we're getting to the point where we're going to have to combo off and soon. Gets in. 4-1. Investigates. Investigates again. Alright, let's Jace's Scrutiny Zada. Doubles it up. Target Silver for Gets us a wolf. Investigates. Investigates. Then we get to shoot down a Thopter token. Uh, let's see. So now we get to press for answers, our Zada. Copies our wolves. Investigates. Investigates. Taps down some of our stuff. Investigates. And then second harvest. Doubles up our tokens. So we can deal five damage. Let's see. So one, two, three, four and five. All right, well, I feel like we're in a decent spot. Our opponent's ahead, but we're head on board and anything that targets our creatures is gonna be absolutely insane. Our opponent does get to keep drawing cards and investigating, which is annoying, but we have a lot of damage just from our clues. We can basically wipe their board next turn. So they draw a card, they investigate, they investigate. They have almost as many clues as we do. Tireless Tracker and investigates again. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, well, I think we might win here. <laughs> All right. Swing with everything. See what our opponent does. Blocks. Well, we will confront the unknown, targeting Arzada. And this is going to be some ungodly amount of damage. And a bunch more wolves. And a bunch more investigating. 
<laughs> and our opponent scoops it up. Oh, there it is. So we are going to give, let's see. We are going to give all of our creatures what? Plus uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more clues on top of ten. So between plus ten plus ten and plus, oh my goodness, I don't even know. A lot. We are going to give our creatures a lot of power and toughness. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So what did we learn this week? First off, I didn't show the last two matches of the, the teamer clue deck we were up against. We got crushed. Our opponent made way more clues than we did, and they drew their ether grids, or he didn't. So that's how that went. I wanted to end on a good note, but for the sake of completion and the record we did lose those two games overall the deck was pretty spicy there's some big problems obviously our creatures are kind of expensive and they die really easy but when we can pull off the combo disrupted crazy things happen we also ran into some really weird matchups so many engulfed the shores it was just some very odd and awkward matchups but the actual combo is super sweet, and when it goes off, things go crazy. You get tons of tokens, tons of power and toughness, tons of clues to draw cards and to power up our our pump spells. It's just, it gets pretty absurd. So overall, we managed to go three games in every single match except the mono blue mill match which we actually had one of our sweetest combos in that match but our opponent had engulf the shores and crush of tentacles which kind of ruined it but so the deck was very consistent at winning 33 percent of the time we were almost every match we went went to three games but we only actually won one of those matches so all together really solid 33 percent Anyway, make sure to check out the website, mtggoldfish.com. Dex prices, metagame strategy, pretty much anything and everything you could want related to Magic the Gathering. And if you enjoyed our Zada Silver Fur slash Clue Token combo against the odds, make sure to click the like button, the subscribe button. It'll keep you up to date on the newest happenings here on the MTG Goldfish YouTube channel, and it does a favor for us as well. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon.